Okay, I, I rewind it and I found out what it, what I, I wanted to talk about. It's a friends and four, okay? Friends and enemies. It just sounds so easy. So that's why I didn't write it down because I, it's such, such an easy concept. That's why I would just remember it easily, but probably because precisely exactly because it's such a easy concept common concept friends and foes is slip through my mind okay give me one second uh slip through my mind because such an easy concept but uh yeah i'll be right back i gotta go to bathroom man I'll be right back. All right, so now that we found what to talk about next, let's talk more about this defamation, okay? Uh, yeah, I respect your opinion that uh, I'm crazy and I'm potentially a domestic terrorist. You may have some opinion about me, okay? But uh, I can all I can say is I'm assuring you I'm not crazy and I'm, I'm not a would be criminal. No, I believe in peace, not violence. Okay. <laughs> I'm a lover. I'm not a hater. Okay. I love people. I hate some ideologies. Okay. And yeah, it's about repentance. It's about correction, education, so that you know things. That's what humanology is about. We are not about violence. Okay. We don't believe in violence because if you look back in the history, okay, violence just doesn't work, okay? It's a, a lot of people have used this method to bring some social changes, like communists, socialists. They failed, okay? It just doesn't work. 
human allergist, we, you and me, we know violence is not a good method. It's ineffective method. It just doesn't work. All right, so yeah, I'm not stupid. And I'm not crazy either, okay? So, I just love jokes, okay? So, uh, and what, when I wrote, write novels, yeah, it's very uh, out there. It's off the wall. It's very strange novels, okay, that I write. But because it's fiction, okay, it's not me. <laughs> Some friends of mine, somehow they managed to get a hold of this copy of my novel, and then uh, they thought, "Hey, I think you you need to talk to somebody. <laughs> I think you you are, you have some mental disease. Uh, I recommend you to go to talk to some psychiatrist or psychologist because uh, you." Yeah, we are concerned about you. Hey, I appreciate the concern, but uh, I tell them, hey, I understand where you're coming from. I understand. I appreciate your concern about me. You, 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 you are saying, telling me this because you are concerned about me. You care about me. I appreciate that. You're my friend, okay? But it's unnecessary, okay? So uh, it's a fiction. Uh, it maybe, maybe it's too much for you, too much to you, but. Uh, then don't read it. Don't read my novel. I never invited you to read my novel. I never asked you to read my novel, okay? Because uh, do I want my people, I mean, do I want my novel to be read? Well, I published this, so uh, I guess, but maybe I've done that. So that I don't have to deal with all this shit. <laughs> I don't want to de have to deal with all this criticism and... No. So maybe I have time dead. Okay, so yeah, I use my pen name to write in my novel, so... But those characters, it, it's not me. Okay, it's fictional characters. If a novelist or writer write about a murderer, or a terrorist or assassin. That does not mean that writer is actually a murderer or, or murderer wannabe or no, 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 it's, it's a fiction, okay? Fictional character, it doesn't exist. It's not him, okay? So yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm such such a good writer, I guess, because my some of my friends, they thought it's a real story, but it's not. <laughs> I guess that kind of proves me my writing style has some value because they think it's a real story. Maybe I, I'm, I'm not such a bad writer after all, okay, so, but it's not real, okay, so. Whatever. Okay, fam friends and foe, family and friends and foes, okay. Uh, in mathematics, there's technique of proving something uh, is proof by counterexample okay let's there is this mathematical proposition say uh, uh, middleman okay initial question is this you let's assume that you are my enemy we are enemies I hate you you hate me okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For whatever reason, all right. Is it possible that we have a mutual friend? Is it possible that there exists this one person who's your friend and who's who's also my friend but when we are enemies? Okay, so it's, it's a humanological question, very classical humanological question because it contains this human relationship element, human element, and it contains mathematics. Okay, and uh, we're gonna prove that, mathematical proof that this person exists, can exist, it, it is possible. Okay, so it's kind of like uh, Mathematical proof by counterexample, okay, but it's not counterexample. 
it is a pro example it's not anti example but it's a pro example we just need one person to prove that this person can exist okay so all right we had done this before we're just giving it a different point of view different angle so it, it helps to revisit and review okay so that's why why we are doing it to understand it from in understand the same thing that we covered before from a different point of view different angle it helps okay I'm kind of getting drunk actually not really I'm not drunk yet because this vodka is so weak very weak drinks because uh what I do is I I have this you know, this crab apple, Alaskan crab apple, Alaskan blueberry, Alaskan um, low bush cranberry, okay, and Alaskan um, rose hips, okay, rose hips. This is uh, wh what do you think this is? Dandelion flowers from last spring, like uh, right now is November, so uh. Five months of from five months back. Five months ago, okay. I just poured this vodka and I let it sit outside. I mean, without any lid or cover, I just let it sit on the room temperature. So all the alcohol that evaporate. So it's a very weak drink, really. Alaska high bush cranberry, okay. They are most from my from my backyard. Mostly. Okay. Chaga, yeah, I, I had to go hiking to uh, get it from hiking place. Chaga is not that common, okay. So uh yeah there will be big drinks. I'm not drunk enough, but if I get if I uh, be, do become drunk tonight, yeah uh before this sit down show is over to, for today yeah i may start dancing and because i don't think i gave you enough dancing lesson yeah we did a lot of martial arts because martial arts you do it without any music okay because i don't want to play any music i don't want to violate any copyrights okay i mean it's educational purpose so i guess I'm not making money off of it, so I, I don't think it, it violates any copyright, even if I play some music, but uh, but still, I, I just don't want to get into all those copyright issues, okay? Because who knows? It's possible that in the future, this may become very popular, and I may get some money off of this nobody knows okay so i don't want to get into any of those copyright issues so i'm gonna i'm not gonna play any single music here okay but yeah that's why i guess we did a lot of martial arts instead of dancing and singing because we cannot play any music here okay so i'm, I'm poor guy okay deformation deformation you don't want to start a rumor about me like me, you don't want to falsely accuse of me of being a potential domestic terrorist or a madman with mental diseases. You don't want to spread rumor. Yeah, you can express your opinion and you can form an opinion, but you don't want to start a rumor because that will hinder my employment. I may lose money, I may get fired, I may lose a job, I, or your rumor that you originated can prevent me from uh, getting a job. And you can, this defamation, classical defamation, defame, you defamed me by spreading this rumor about me. It's a false accusation. I'm not crazy, I'm not criminal, I'm not an would-be criminal. I don't want to be a criminal. I'm not a violent person. But if you accuse me of these false things, 
and you start rumor, you t talk to other people about it, and then uh, yeah, you can be subject to a lawsuit. Because, because you started this rumor, now I cannot get any job. Okay, so if I sue you in a civil court for defamation, you'll have to pay me money, lost wages, lost future earnings. Because uh, I cannot get any job because of you. Because you started this rumor about me and it's false rumors. I'm not crazy and I'm not a criminal. I don't want to be a criminal. But you accused me of being crazy and you accused me of uh, an would be what a criminal terrorist assassin wannabe. That's not true. Okay. So basically, basically you lied about me to other people. Okay. And as a result, I cannot get a job. Okay. So you are liable for it. It's a classical tort of defamation, defame. Okay. So you do not want to cross that line. Okay. Yeah. You exercise your uh, first amendment right all the time. Okay. That's what I do. I talk shit about many people. So in classical tort law of defamation, uh, if I'm criticizing somebody famous, I'm more free to do that. Because courts in American tort law of defamation, yeah, because it's uh, public people like celebrities, we have more leeways. We have more freedom to criticize them. All right. So I criticize like Justice Kavanaugh, President Trump, President Obama. But I always say it's my theory. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know what they think. I don't know what their past was. Did Justice Kavanaugh sexually assault this woman, this uh, Christian Ford? Dr. Ford, I don't know. I wasn't there. What I can say is uh, he was in this congressional hearing and there was be these beautiful model type girls behind him in the audience seat. So I, yeah, yeah, to me that looks like uh, his girlfriend. Yeah, he's married, but I think to me it seems he's having sex with multiple women. He gives me this impression of uh, adulterer, philanderer, just like President Trump. Is President Trump having sex with other women other than uh, his wife, first lady, Melania Trump? I don't know. But I think he might be. I don't know. This just give me this impression, okay, of philanderer, womanizer, adulterer, who have sex with multiple women. They give me this impression, but that's my opinion. I don't know. I don't claim that that's of, that is a fact. But if I say it is a fact, that I, then I'm lying about them. Okay? That's defamation. Defamation is about lying about something, somebody, okay? I always say I don't know them, but I think they might be committing adultery. But that's my opinion. I don't know. It's not a fact. I'm not alleging, arguing, saying that it is a fact. It's my theory, my speculation, my suspicion. Okay, so this is a fine line. Okay, if you don't know me, just say, I think he might be crazy. I think he might be, would be assassin, would be terrorist, cry, criminal, wannabe, but I'm not sure because I don't know him. Yeah, you can say that, but if you say, oh, I know 
this guy crazy Asian aging Asian ass this pathetic unknown underdog somewhere in Alaska he is losing his hair <laughs> you guess it because that is true I'm losing my hair I'm covering up okay I, I do have both spots I'm, I'm sure you have seen it if you've seen my previous episodes if you say that oh he's losing hair yeah it's true that's not deformation because it's true deformation is about lying okay you don't know me so you don't know for sure that I'm crazy or not I'm a criminal or not because you don't know me but if you say that you know for sure that I'm a criminal would be criminal I'm dangerous I'm crazy then you are lying because you say you know me when you don't okay because uh, so do, please do not cross that line because it's not good for you I don't think I will ever sue you in court because I'm lazy I don't want to get involved in all that lawsuit no probably I won't sue you so I'm lazy okay but uh, at the same time I don't want you to break the law or lie about me I don't want you to lie about me or about anyone or anything because it's immoral I care about you even if you hate me I don't hate you back because I'm Christian I love my enemies actually I don't have any enemies I don't hate nobody okay I have opponents political opponents well I have people who hate me but I don't hate them I don't even see them as my enemies I see them as my brothers and sisters who disagree with me you can hate me all you want but I don't hate you back because I'm Christian okay I love you you are a human being. You are made after God's image. It's a sin to hate a human being. I don't care who you are. I don't care what kind of ideology you subscribe to. You may be covered with tattoos and piercings. You may be smoking marijuana. You may be ultra interracialist. Maybe you are a, a, an Asian man covered by covered with tattoos and piercings and you're obese and you have sex you, and you you happen to be rich and powerful and you have sex with all these white young women you impre impregnate them and then then you abandon them and so all this young slender white blonde blue-eyed green-eyed red hair woman you are ethnic man okay you could be asian black middle eastern arab or indian you keep having sex with all these young the prettiest young model type white girls without any condom so you impregnate them and then you move on so this all these white girls are left with this ethnic boys and girls these ethnic babies you keep doing that and you have AIDS too okay and you are bisexual okay you are covered by covered with tattoos and piercings but you are you are rich man ethnic rich ethnic man because you got some money from your parents inheritance from your grandparents great grandparents you are rich but you are not working you're covered by tattoos and piercings and you're obese and you have a lot of money from your inheritance and then and, and you don't work because you have a lot of money and then um, you're ethnic man you're Arab, Asian, Black, Hispanic or what not Indian, Native, whatever you're an ethnic man and you only have sex with model type white girls and you do it without any condom so 
you have sex with them, you impregnate them with your baby, ethnic baby, and then you leave them and you keep doing that and you have AIDS too. AIDS. You have STD, you have herpes, you have you have uh, genital warts, you have AIDS. So yeah, that's you. Again, this is a fiction, okay? You have to understand this whole thing, all my videotaping series is all fiction. Okay, it's all novel. Okay, I, I want you to know this. This is important because I don't want you to accuse me of somebody I'm not. Okay, it's a fictional character. I'm, a, I'm an actor, comedian, or drama actor, tragedy actor, whatever. Okay, it's all fiction. Okay, so you, you are a fictional character too. Okay, so you are that ethnic man. You have AIDS. You have herpes, you have genital warts, you have gonorrhea, you have uh, chlamydia. What other STDs are there? <laughs> Friend and foe, yeah, we're gonna do this later, okay? So we wrote it down, okay? So we're not gonna forget it again, okay? I, I stopped recording and I rewinded it and... Yeah, I, I know what I forgot to men forgot to... This forgotten topic, okay? So we wrote it down, so we're not gonna forget it, so we can talk about other things. <laughs> okay, because we, we can always talk about this later, okay? So yeah, you have chlamydia, you have STD, and you have you're you are obese, and you're covered by tattoos and piercings, you're ugly, and but because you're rich, you're a millionaire, and you don't work because you got it from your parents and grandparents, okay? Okay, so you're an ethnic man, and you only have sex with the most beautiful young white women. Okay, so you have sex with them, and they love you. Why? Because you're rich. That's all women care about. Money. So, I'm not blaming women. We guys, we only care about a woman's youth, and how slender they are. We don't care about anything else. We don't care about women's personality, intelligence, how much money they have, or their education. We don't care. We only care whether this woman is slender, young, and it's about sexual attraction. It's very mammonic, materialistic. We only care how young she is and how... Uh, slender she is that's all we care okay we guys we are sex machines women same way materialist romance market is very mammonic mammon you know in bible new testament term mammon materialistic okay romance market is all about material okay so women only care about money we guys, we only care about women's young, slender body. That's all, all we care about. So yeah, we are the same page. Materialistic, okay? So yeah, there's this man covered by tattoos and piercings and obesity. And he's ethnic. He could be white. He, he's not white, okay? He's ethnic man, you know, Asian, Arab, Indian, black native or whatever he's not a white man but he's an ethnic man and so he only have sex with the most beautiful model type slender young white women okay because he can have them why because all those women every woman love rich men and he's rich he doesn't work he does not work he does not have a job but he's a millionaire because he inherited all this money from his parents and grandparents, okay? Do I hate this man? No, I don't. Yeah, so he have AIDS, he has gonorrhea, chlamydia, herpes. He, he keep having sex with this, the most beautiful white girls and without any condom. And those girls let him because they love, they, they are attracted to this rich, Man, ethnic man. They know he's 
adulterers and his promiscuous, they don't care. They just are biologically, evolutionarily attracted to him because he's rich. Now, because nowadays money is power. Women love power. Powerful men. They are biologically, biologically attracted to powerful men. Okay? Women love powerful men and men love women are attracted to powerful men and men are attracted to young and healthy women okay so that's sexual attraction it's something very materialistic it has nothing to do with ethics or morality it has everything to do with reproductibility reproduction okay it's a biological animalistic thing that's how romance market is and that's why i'm single because i'm powerless why i advocate for ideologies that is not popular i'm an extreme minority ethnically i'm minority asian right asian male you know and also Ideologically, I'm a minority because I'm against gay marriage, tattoos, piercings, marijuana, plastic surgery, obesity. I'm an extreme minority, okay? So, I'm, my power is negative. It's like negative one trillion. That's how powerless I am. Girls hate that. That's why I'm single, okay? No, no girl want to date me, ever. I'm always single, okay? So, I like being a minority, okay? You know, and also, uh, I guess I prefer to live in hell. Just like in this television show, 24. You know, this agent Almeida talked to this... Uh, Audrey Reigns, um, some people uh, prefer to live in hell, like uh, Jack Bauer, okay, so, I guess I kind of belong to that category, okay, I guess, because I'm a man, that's why I came to Alaska, we have long winter, harsh, cold, dark winter, if you're a man, that's kind of things that you love, <laughs> you want challenge, you want challenge, okay? That's something that you enjoy. All these rock climbers. And, uh... That's some guys, we want to be special forces. We want challenges. Okay? We don't care if we die from it. We, we want challenges, okay? Uh, like Navy SEALs and what, what have you. Yeah. We are stupid, okay? <laughs> we like adventures, okay? So, yeah, that's why I want to be a minority. Ideological minority, okay? So, it's okay. Yeah, I want to have sex. PG-13, I'm sorry. I want to have sex. I want to have a girlfriend. But if I don't have a girlfriend, if I don't get to have sex, it's okay. I can handle it, okay? So, but ideologically, yeah. I want to be a rebel. This is a war. Metaphysical war. Okay, spiritual warfare. I'm not hurting anybody. I don't want to. I will never hurt anybody physically. Okay? I know some jujitsu. Okay? I can neutralize my enemy without hurting this person. Arm lock. You know, the real naked choke. And or twisting the ankle or wrist. All these joints, like elbow, arm, shoulder, neck. Yeah, I can neutral. I know how to because I learned from my friends who know Jiu-Jitsu, okay? I also took a class in Jiu-Jitsu too. So, yeah, yeah, I can neutralize my enemy without breaking a bone or hurting this person, okay? I don't want to hurt anybody. I love people. You are my brothers and sisters. I do not want to hurt anyone, okay? And I know how to neutralize enemy 
without hurting them. Okay, so just like UFC or mixed martial arts MMA, they they tap out, right? They are not breaking any joints, any bones. After tapping out, yeah, both of them walk out. Nobody's hurt. There's no single bruise. No broken bone. They walk out intact. Okay, that's so jujitsu is something very, very, very uh, Japanese. You know, it's kind of Western. You know, yeah, it's martial art, but it's civilized. So yes, yeah, Brazilian jujitsu, of course, because jujitsu was developed in a war setting, in Japanese war. Do you think they tried to tap out their enemy in a war? No. <laughs> I know some judo as well because my friends told me some judo. Okay, there's a technique you dislocate the shoulder. Okay, you grab it and you jerk it like this. So you grab the arm, right, and you, you push it like push it and jerk it, and you are dislocated here. That's traditional judo and jujitsu. Okay, you don't try to tap out your enemy. You know, you you break the bone, you dislocate the joint. That's the original Japanese judo and jujitsu, okay? Brazilian jujitsu, however, is more about westernized, civilized. Which is good, okay? It's it's not a bad thing. So yeah, I, I, I know some of those techniques, alright? So um I don't wanna go to jail. I don't wanna be involved in a lawsuit. Oh, you have to pay for my medical cost. It's a battery case. I don't want it, okay? So, yeah. Uh, again, we are going everywhere, right? So, I'm sorry. Uh, because I'm drunk and I'm at home. I don't want to stick to one agenda. I want to talk about anything, everything. I'm a sit-down comedian. Just like stand-up comedy. That's how they do it. Have you ever watched stand-up comedy? It's this flow of consciousness, right? It's like this fluid, you know, amorphous, shapeless, okay? We go everywhere and nowhere. That's stand-up comedy, okay? We don't have fixed agenda, like one, two, three, no. We are not at work. We are relaxed. So we can talk about anything and everything and no, nothing, okay? So, yeah. It's okay that we are not focused. It's okay we are not concentrating on, single, on a single topic because we are not at work. We are in this world of humanology, which is about entertainment. It's about making you happy, okay? So... We we'll talk about this friend and for later. I mean, I mean, after the break. Okay, okay. Let's take a break. All right. Let's ventilate the air.
okay, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna have to postpone this friend and foe, this, uh, proof by existence. It's not by proof by uh, counter example, proof by positive existence, okay? This possibility of middleman exist existence, uh, we're gonna have to postpone this indefinitely, okay? Because I just uh, whenever I take a break, I just came up with uh, some other things to talk about. Okay, so and I forgot what to talk about. <laughs> what else to talk about? Um, so maybe we'll just do this. Uh, what what was I going to talk about? Uh, what were we talking about before the break? I don't remember. You, you may be laughing at me. Oh, you criticize marijuana, wiping out the short-term memory. How about alcohol? <laughs> oh boy. We are talking about many things. Okay, so that's why I, I'm, I'm old too. I'm four years old. Um, Uh, let's just talk about this because I, I forgot what to talk about what else to talk about okay it's so easy okay you, so you are uh, we, we talked about this before okay so it's A B and C okay A B C and there are three things the viewpoint position vector of A position vector of B Position vector of C, and your criterion vector is um, a V of C. Criterion, uh, political position, ideology, let's say I. Ideological vector, ideological criterion vector, okay? First thing is about, um, let's say pro marijuana. Marijuana. Second thing, trends in the bathroom. Third thing, Immigration, okay. Migration, oh, you cannot use I, you can use the M. <sighs> Forget it then, okay. How about uh, feminism, how about that? Huh? Okay, so A is like, <sighs> what is M? I forgot, marijuana, okay, A is very pro marijuana. That's why A and, A and C are enemies, because I'm anti-marijuana, okay? B is the mutual friend. All right, it's kind of look, start looking like a matrix, two-dimensional matrix. A matrix, you know, in linear algebra, it could be n-dimensional, okay? But mostly they are two-dimensional. That's what they do it for now. But n-dimensional matrix is not very well explored area. But so you can do it, okay? As a next generation mathematician, all right? Yeah, explore n-dimensional matrix, okay? So vector is like one dimensional matrix, okay? Scalar, zeros dimensional mat matrix, all right? Or you can say uh, scalar is one dimensional vector and vector is two dimensional vector and, and matrix is like three dimensional vector. It's just, terminology okay so just so different point of view they are all valid all right so okay so a and c they are bitter enemies because a is pro marijuana c is anti marijuana okay not 1.0 but 10 minus 10 
anti-marijuana, pro-marijuana. So they are enemies, all right? But B is supposed to be a middleman, okay? Uh, but he doesn't care about marijuana at all, okay? <laughs> and uh, what's T stand for? Transitor bathroom, okay? So A is very liberal person. Oh, I'm all about transitor bathroom. Okay, and uh, B happen to be very trans in the bathroom, okay? C doesn't care about transgender issue. Why? Because, yes, he's conservative, obviously. He's against marijuana. But, he has this son who's like, what, 23 years old who went through uh, transgender surgery. He didn't like it. But he couldn't quite disown him either because he's his only son. Yeah, he, he hated, but in uh, this person C, Charlie, Charlie's mind, there's this conflict of interest. Politically, yeah, he he does oppose transgender surgery because something liberal. C is conservative. Conservative Charlie, okay, but uh, he doesn't want to think about transgender issue because his son went through transgender surgery, okay. So, I have to just have these thumbs because I'm kind of em empty stomach. I haven't had my dinner, dinner yet. It's 8 o'clock now. Okay. Okay, so. So far, A and B, they are friends because you do the dot product. Multiply this same element, 0. Multiply this, 100. Okay. Add them together, 100. So A and B are friends. Now, B and C, they are not neither friend nor enemy because multiply this, 0, plus, multiply this, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, okay? But in terms of feminism, A doesn't care about feminism, okay? Because uh, he's a guy, so he, don't, he just do, doesn't, he's not very well educated man, so he doesn't even know what feminism is about, whatever. Oh, he, for whatever reason, he doesn't care about feminism, okay? But B have to be, happen to be anti-feminist, okay? And C is anti-feminist too. Now, B and C now became friends, okay? Zero here, multiply. Zero, multiply, okay? Minus 10 times minus 10, multiply, becomes positive 10. So B and C are friends now. So relationship between... Uh, B and C is a positive 100. A relationship between uh, A and B is what? 0 here, 100 here, 0 here, 100. So yeah, B. We have our mutual friend, middleman. Okay, so that's the example. There's a proof by positive existence. Okay, it's not, okay. it's kind of like a proof by counter example. All right, but this is a, again, we are making brand new mathematics here. Okay, because human knowledge is a theory of everything. Okay, we do mathematics, physics, biology. We do everything, history, literature, religion, the realm of psychology, sociology, economics, we do everything, okay? So in terms of phys physics and mathematics and Biology, yeah, chemistry and religion, yeah, we adopt them. In terms of sociology, economics, and psychology, we want to replace them. Okay, because they didn't quite get it right. Okay, so. Okay, so that's that, and that's friend and for. Okay, we, we got it done. Okay, we got it off, my, off of our agenda today. So let's talk about 
I kind of remember what I wanted to talk about, okay? It's about psychology. Because some of my friends who cares about me, they say, oh, oh you should see a psychiatrist, a therapist, a, a counselor, or mental health care provider, just health, mental health care professional, or just psychologist, because I think you have mental disease. It, okay, I respect your opinion. I respect, I appreciate your concern because you, you care about me. So that's why you're concerned about me. But I, I do appreciate you. But I have to disagree with you uh, because I'm mentally healthy. Because, uh, but I still think you have mental disease. Well, here's my response. I respect your opinion and um, I do. I, I appreciate and respect your freedom of speech. You are entitled to have your own opinion and I respect you saying things that would offend me because I say things that offend you. Okay, I just, I exercise my freedom of speech and in return, I respect your right to free speech. It's your constitutional right. Okay? Just don't defame me. Do not commit this tort wrongdoing, tortious wrongdoing of defamation. That's all I'm asking. Okay? I don't want you to get me fired. I don't want you to prevent my future employment okay probably i won't sue you okay but uh i don't want you to be my enemy okay i don't want you to make me hate you okay i don't want to hate anybody okay actually many people actually try that they hate me so much they started this rumor about me and tried to ruin my career. That has happened in my past, not once, several times. Okay, and uh, I'm not a, even a famous person, but I have seen people who try to, uh, pr who hate me so much. They wanted to uh, ruin my future career. I have seen them. Okay, I, I I feel sorry. I don't hate them. I feel sorry about them because what they are doing is um, something very satanic. Because all I ever tried was I wanted to help them out. So I say thing I said things that would offend their feelings. I wanted to save them. And what do they do in return? They want to ruin my career because they are angry. Okay, that has happened to me. I've seen those people, okay, and um, they did that to me. And I, I'm very sorry because they are possessed by this devil who returned evil for all the good things I did for them. It's like murdering your parents yeah some people murder their parents their teachers their mentors their bosses their employers some people murder them it's pure evil why because it's a negative negative okay so a and b Okay, so let's say A is employer, parent, benefactor. This person gives something good to this person by employing this person or giving them advice, correct him, discipline him, okay? Giving something good to this person, okay? Employer, parent, teacher, a care about B. A gave something good to B. 
Now, B is giving something bad to A. Murder. Deformation. Theft. You know, there's this French novel, classical novel, I think it's like Jean Balzac. Jean Balzac. I don't know how to pronounce it, okay? Yeah, there's this priest, this Catholic priest, who shows some charity to this thief, homeless criminal thief. Okay, because this priest, Catholic priest, was a good man. He was very Jesus and good Samaritan. So, yeah, you are hungry, you are a thief, nobody wants you, nobody cares about you, but come to my house. I will feed you. What did thief did in return? He stole from this good Samaritan. Biting the feeding hand, stealing from the feeding hand, returning evil for all the goods that this benefactor gave to him. Pure evil. Because this positive going this way is same thing as negative going this way. Okay. I gave you one dollar. A gave me one dollar. Meaning this lack of one dollar lack lack void this vacuum poverty transferred from b to a wealth money came from a transferred from a to b at the same time poverty lack of one dollar transferred transferred from b to a Okay, it's just like this. You have two cups, cup A, cup B, cup B. B is empty. Cup B, glass of this glass, water glass is empty. But cup A is full of water. Now you're transferring from A to B, this water. Water goes from A to B. Now A is empty. B is full of water. One dollar water. So at the same time, this good stuff move from A to B, but bad stuff move, move from B to A. This emptiness. Vacuum. Or air. Empty air. Moved from B to A. After giving all the money from to this poor guy to be, what was left in A? Nothing. Poverty. Poverty. Because A gave B all he had. So this once emptiness, this emptiness, is a negative copium. It transferred to A from B. Positive, positive copium, water, transfers to, from A to B. Okay, so it's simultaneous. That's copium transfer, okay? After that, B is spoiled. Oh, I got my, my, my stomach is full now. So, but tomorrow I will get hungry again. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna take your, all your money. Okay. A was a feeding hand, a charitable good Samaritan. He just wanted to help out this poor guy. What does B do in return? I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna take all your money. It has happened many times. Before. Not just in some novels or tragedy fictions, no, in the real world. How many people in the world have killed their own parents, teachers, employers? In America alone, just rewinding back 20 years, past two decades, many. In America alone, for the past two decades, 
So many people kill their own parents, teachers, employers. Pure evil. Okay? Returning evil for good. That expression is in the Old Testament, in the Bible. Okay, so some, this is something extreme evil, okay? Doubly linked evil. Okay? Minus, minus, okay? So doubly linked evil. It's worse than killing some innocent person or robbing some innocent person. You don't know that person. Yeah, it's still evil, very bad, but killing somebody who benefited you, there's something a lot worse. There's this different degree of evil, okay? So yeah, you may get one year sentence, two year sentence, 10 year sentence, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, or life sentence, even death penalty, okay? So yeah, there's this grade of evil, okay? There's all these different levels of evil, okay? So the people who falsely accused me of um, things that I've never done, I, I, I feel sorry for them. I. As if they repent, yeah, I, I want I want them to repent. I want to forgive them, okay. Uh, I do because I care. I do care. I still care about them, even after they try to ruin my career by spreading these false rumors, these lies. Because I only just because I hurt their feelings. I feel sorry because uh, it's not their fault. No, they were they're just spoiled brats. They cannot handle hurt feelings. Oh, they get so angry and they want to revenge and they don't understand that all everything I did, I did it for them because I love them. I care about them. I wanted to correct them when they were wrong. Hurt feelings. I don't, I don't enjoy hurting people's feelings. Maybe sometimes I do. Okay. But that's not my intention. That's not my goal. It's something inevitable, unavoidable to correct somebody. You are doing something wrong like gay marriage, marijuana, tattoos, piercings, obesity. I have to tell you that it's wrong to do those things. Otherwise, how can you correct yourself? If it's a status quo, there has to be some change. No pain, no gain. It's unavoidable. I'm sorry. I didn't create this world, this universe. God did. But you cannot quite blame God because he can do whatever the fuck he wants to do. Okay, PG Saturday, I'm sorry. But foul mouth. Dirty, dirty lips, okay? I never claimed otherwise, okay? Yeah, I do have foul mouth, okay? The sailor's mouth, okay? So, yeah, yeah, I'm dirty. I'm vulgar guy, okay? So, but yeah, God created this world this way. Uh, he created all these humanological or natural laws. No pain, no gain. I did not create those laws. I'm sorry, but it, it's just the way it is, okay? No pain, no gain. Do you want to be a better person? I have to hurt your feelings to correct you. I'm not against you. I'm for you. I'm here to help you. I'm not making fun of you. No, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I, I don't. Okay, but I have to correct you. I have to say, your tattoo is ugly. Your obesity is ugly. Your piercing is ugly. You smoking marijuana, that's bad for you. You do gay marriage, transgender or something, whatever. Uh, that's not right. It's going to ruin you. Okay? I'm sorry to hurt your feelings. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Okay? But I cannot avoid that. It's unavoidable. I have to hurt your feelings to make you a better person. There is no other way. I'm sorry. Well, it's God's way of this world. 
God created this world this way, so don't blame me. And you cannot blame God because he can do whatever the fuck he wants to. <laughs> he created this world, he owns this world. So we cannot quite uh, blame God because logically he can do whatever he wants, okay? He's the ultimate dictator or whatever, okay? But he's nice though. He gave us free will, okay? I think that's about it. I, I, uh, I don't think... Okay, maybe we can dance a little bit, okay? We let, all this, forget about all this bullshit, okay? Humanology, fuck humanology. Who gives a fuck? Fuck humanology, okay? So, you know what? I think I owe you a dance. Nice dance. I'll do my best, okay? We'll take a break, we, and I'm gonna... Uh, because in this Korean shamanism, you exercise somebody with dancing, okay? So maybe that's what I'm gonna do with you. <laughs> Exorcism by dancing. Exorcism by choreography or whatever. Maybe I'll try to exorcise, kick, kick the demon out of you with some stupid dancing, okay? So, yeah, let's do something. I, I think I owe you that, okay? I hurt your feeling, right? Now, it's, maybe it's time that you hurt my feeling by laughing at me, looking at me de doing this stupid dancing, okay? So, I owe you that, okay? We'll take a break and I'm gonna show you my stupid dancing, okay? So that you can laugh at me and hurt my feelings. How about that? I don't be fair. I want to be fair, okay? All right, forget about all this garbage, human knowledge shit. We'll do some dancing, okay? We'll laugh at each other, all right? Let's have fun, it's party time. It's Monday, so let's have some fun in mon on Monday, okay? And let's ventilate the air first. We need some oxygen because we're gonna do some cardio. Cardiovascular exercises. Okay.
pick up at um, now that we're gonna dance a little bit, uh, I'm gonna wash my face. Face. I wash my face pretty often because uh, it refreshes me. Washing face is really refreshing. Okay, so uh, we're gonna turn on the disco light and uh, I'm gonna take off my trench coat you know, to, I will kind of redo my hair too, okay? So I'm gonna take this stool away. Let's uh, redo my hair. My re my hair is like, uh, it's worse than Donald J. Trump's, right? Because I'm, I do have bald spot. Trump, President Trump, I'm not sure if you have bald spot, okay? But yeah, I, I have bald spot and so I'm having my hair long and I blow it with hair dryer and I freeze it with a spray. But I guess today is kind of bad hair Monday, huh? Whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna turn on the disco light, okay? Okay, and uh, maybe we turn off light. How about this? You can still see me, right? Yeah, so you can see me enough, and. Uh, <sighs> I think it's my obligation to sh share something with you, uh, to teach you what I know. I know some dancing, maybe not too much. So I'm going to show you what I know. Yeah, when, when it's dark, the screen gets very choppy, okay? So, yeah, they, they got to do something with this, okay? Let them, uh, let go this computer programmers come up with a way to make the screen less choppy when it's dark. That's uh, one thing to, they, they can improve. So I, I don't want this to be too choppy like this. Okay, so let's turn on one light. And uh, yeah, it's less choppy now. Okay. So dancing is so easy, okay, it's, it's easy. Okay, so uh, it's all about, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, just relax. You are at home, you are not pregnant. If you are not pregnant, yeah, you can drink, okay? Dancing is, so my job is to teach you what I know, okay? Because I can die tomorrow, okay? So who knows, man, uh, in a car accident, bear mauling or moose, some angry neighborhood moose, residential moose. Yeah, they, they come to my yard sometimes and they are munching on my trees. They love willow trees. They break branches and stuff. And so they were a couple of years ago, uh, I think it was last winter, uh, they did two moose, big moose, like big big moose in my backyard like right there that's my backyard right there right there okay just out right out in, the, in my backyard my uh, half acre lot two moose adult one adult the other one i guess kind of juve juvenile but that they're, they're this big moose alaska moose and they were in my backyard right there okay so they're munching on my tree okay uh Willow tree. Oh, I welcome them. I love moose. I love animals. Wild Alaskan animals. That's one of the reasons I'm here. I love animals. So, uh, 
and yeah, like I want to take some pictures, okay, in my cell phone. One of them was kind of peaceful. The other one was like. <laughs> This guy's not okay. So, this moose is like, you know, like uh, coming at me, right? Slowly. And the other moose, oh, he's just munching the tree leaves, tree branches. It's, it was winter, so yeah, just tree. They munch on tree branches. There is no leaves, tree leaf. It's a winter, okay? Yeah, they're munching on the brand, brand, tree branches. Bricks. Yeah, so uh, the, the the adult moose. I don't know if it was male or female because moose they have this big antlers, right? Uh, but they shed it at the end of the fall. So all these big antlers it grows in one year. Okay, that's moose moose antlers. Okay, so. In the winter, yeah, they shed it off, so you, you cannot quite easily tell whether it's male moose or female moose, okay? The male moose have these big antlers, females don't. So, I don't know what gender that moose, those moose were, but uh, this big adult moose was just munching on these tree bricks in my backyard, okay? But this kind of adolescent moose, he was like looking at me, okay? The impression I got is, that guy is not okay. But this adult moose, ah, it's nobody. I just keep eating this tree branches, willow tree. Okay. Well, they don't have this concept that it's my property. To them, I'm the invader. Oh, no, this forest used to be ours. It's our property. You came to us, right? And you, you're not even American. You are a, you, you're an Asian guy. And uh, we know that uh, we, are, we are present Trump supporters. We mooses, moose. And you, uh, your parents are not American citizens. So you technically, you are not even supposed to be here. You're not an American citizen. We're gonna change constitution and so we're gonna kick you out of this country. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so we have this conservative Christian Republican moose family. Okay, so yeah, it, so this adolescent moose was like, oh, you, this guy is not okay. So I'm I'm not gonna let this guy just go. So. I'm taking my pictures like with my cell phone, right? My cell phone is Motorola, it's not Samsung, okay? Because, you know, I, I prefer uh, buying American products, okay? Because I'm Asian and I have accent, so my car is Ford, Ford, you know? Uh, I prefer buying American products whenever I can, okay? But I go to Walmart and mostly uh, it's like, uh, I guess many of them, not every one of them, but many of them are from Mexico, China, okay? Only because I cannot afford anything else, okay? So, all right, so why are we talking about this? Because I'm kind of shy and uh, it makes me kind of self-conscious to dance in front of public. Especially when there is no music, okay? You know, you can clap, make some beat, okay? But nobody's clapping. If I'm dancing, I cannot clap. Come on. There's no dance, there's no clapping, so there's no beat. Uh, I, I just have to wing it. It's not easy. Yeah, I'm trying to get more drunk so that I can dance, okay? So, it's my job, my obligation, moral obligation to share with you what I know, okay? So, uh, I have to teach you what I know because I may die tomorrow. Then all my knowledge die with me. So, I, I, we don't want that, okay? So, dancing is so easy. The, 
Probably the easiest way to start is bending your knee like this. Yeah. Yeah. Just bend your knees. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody can do this. Right? Yeah, bend your knees. It's about repetition, rhythm, percussion, drum beat. Do, 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 do. Or oh, tambourine. Okay. Maybe we can, we can, I get, I have tambourine, okay? Because uh, I, I was watching this music video by uh, Tommy. What's his name? Uh, Ta it's not Tommy Lee Jones, but it's Tommy, uh, Ta I guess Tommy James and Sh the Chandels. Money, 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 money. Billy Idol, he's just copycat, okay? So Tommy, Tommy uh, I think it's Tommy James and the Chandels. Back in the 60s, I think it's the like 70s, okay? So pioneer of this music video, okay? It's just, I love you, money, money, my money. I love you, money, money, money. Something like that, okay? So, but, uh, man, I have this, this my kids, okay? I have a lot of stuff. I have this, uh, Gore bar and this uh, flashlight. I have USB, USB drive, the thumb drive, and I have many keys. Okay, to my house, my offices, and library card, and uh, my car key. I don't want to hit my key because you have some electronic equipment there, so. Here, this pocket, uh, I have cigarettes, okay? I have cigarettes, lighter, wallet, cell phone, okay? Motorola cell phone, okay? My wallet, okay? So that's me, okay? So I better use my uh, left hand. I love you, money, money, money. Okay, so anyway, so. Elvis Presley, I love him, okay, he's, I think he's a good singer, and, um, I'm not a huge fan of Elvis Presley, but what I like about Elvis Presley is his dance move, it's something innovative, something new, he does something different, They're like, oh, 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 like this, like, like this, you know, Elvis Presley dance style. I like his dance move, okay? He do like jailhouse rock, okay? You know, I don't hate criminals. I want to help them out. I want to discipline them, okay? So maybe when I become the president in 2021, I'll do this jailhouse rock in a prison, okay? It won't be a fake prison in Hollywood. It will be a real prison, okay? Uh, in Washington DC so when I, if I do become president in 2021 yeah I will go to Washington DC prison and do jailhouse rock with the prisoners okay it's my campaign promise I will make it happen okay and why because we're gonna make a lot of money we will sell this footage of Real jailhouse rock. This very first Asian American president in 2021. The very first president who ever went to Washington DC jail and did this concert, this show, jailhouse rock. We are gonna do it. It's my campaign promise. You do you want to see it? Then vote for me in 2020 November. Two years from now. Okay. Dude. Hey, give me one second, okay? Give me one second.
Okay, so uh, Elvis Presley, what they did was, uh, what he did was uh, this jailhouse rock, right? So, yeah, as a campaign promise, okay, if I do become president in 2021 in America, United States, uh, I will do this jailhouse rock for real, okay? It won't be some Hollywood production, okay? I'm trying to. You get to see my bold, bold spot, but that's not my intention. I, I, because I, I wanna do some hairstyling, okay? But it's not quite cooperating with me. Uh, you know, screw it. Okay, so. Okay, so. We actually do it in the real jail with real, real criminals because criminals they are people who just made some mistakes. They're just like us, okay? They are you and me, okay? They made some bad choices. We all make mistakes. We all make bad choices, okay? And you happen to be illegal, okay? So they are criminals. They are no different from us. So yeah, we're gonna give them jobs, make them work, pay their dues, okay? So, uh... But if they don't want to work, yeah, we, we're going to stop feeding them and they will starve to death and they, we will sell their body parts, their muscle, their skin, their organs, because they are very, very expensive items. It's either they work or we sell their organs and we make money either way, whether they work or they die of starvation because they don't want to work, yeah, we make money. We pay for the prison system and we pay for, to the victims, okay? Victims of theft, murder, rape, they need to get paid by criminals, okay? So, you come in, when I'm the president in 2021, if you vote for me in 2020 November, I will make prisoners, criminals, pay for what they did. So they're gonna work, okay, and pay. Or if they are, they have some money in their bank account. Yeah, they're gonna pay to their victims. They will pay for pay to their victims. Okay, victims of any crimes will be paid. That's what it's lacking in current criminal justice system. Victims never get paid. Okay. We're gonna change that, all right? And I will work with them, okay? I, I, so they, yeah, they go to this landfill and assort this trash to recycle. In the landfill, we have plastics, we have metals, and we have uh, woods and all these recyclable mater materials. Prisoners will do that, okay? Or if they have some job skill, yeah, we will make them work. We'll allow them, let them work and start making money. It has to be in the prison though. Okay, but yeah, it can be done. All right, so we'll gather all this uh, private business and make it work, okay? So it's leadership. That's what I'm offering you. I'm offering you leadership, okay? You know, all these politicians, they do this Clinton fist like this, this. Oh, come on, guys. You know, they're so lame. All these politi American politicians, I'm sorry. They're lame, okay? So, would you rather vote for them or me? Just because what? They are what? private business owner and they're millionaires and they went to Harvard, Yale, Princeton. I didn't go to any of those fancy schools and I'm not a business owner and I'm not a millionaire, but 
if you watch this, you know that I have some good ideas, okay? Although I, I cannot make this hair right. Man, it just doesn't look right. Ah, goodness. Ah, yeah, I want to make my hair right. <laughs> Keep getting stupider and stupider. Okay, so yeah, like, uh, you know, like, uh, I want to help you out, okay? So I can make all this happen. I have all the good solutions, the only solutions that can save America, okay? So I, I'm asking you, or maybe I'm ordering you to vote for me, okay? In 2020, November, okay? So I'm ordering you to vote for me because uh, I can save the world and America, whatever, okay? So I, I'm just, whatever. Yeah, I, I'm a performer, okay? I used to be an actor in Los Angeles, okay? So I, I have this performer background, okay? So I'm theatrical. So if you think I'm crazy, no, just, I'm just a comedian, comedian, okay? I made a movie, I'm, a, I'm an entertainer, I'm a comedian, so... Yeah, you don't have to think that I'm crazy, okay? Not necessary. Right. I'm an entertainer. I'm a joker. I'm here to make you laugh. Okay. So. All right. So. Yeah. Prisoners. Yeah. Okay. We are all brothers and sisters. Okay. So. Uh, and. Uh, so we do this Elvis Presley thing, right? So let's say 2021. Hypothetically, I do become the president. Because you voted for me. 99% of Americans voted for me. They learned, they spent one hour to memorize my 10 letter name, Korean English transliteration. So yeah, yeah, they voted for me in November of 2020 and I become the president. I swear in in 2021, uh, January. And uh, we head to the uh, Washington DC ghetto. To clean up the streets, we have pick up the trash, and we invite all those neighbors in the, the Washington DC ghettos. Yeah, out of my president's salary because I don't need, need much money. Okay, so after anything above this American salary level, yeah, the rest of them will go to this fund to uh, create jobs in Washington DC ghetto. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna give them my money. President, pre, pa, some part of president's salary to pick up the trash in their own neighborhood, okay? So yeah, and this program will fund itself because we're gonna air it. We're gonna record it, this cameraman, sound man, and uh, we're gonna have this footage and we're gonna sell this reality TV show. Okay? We're gonna sell this reality TV show not just in America, worldwide. International entertainment, okay? So, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna sell this TV shows, okay? So, uh, you know, yeah, we're gonna make money, okay? So, we, we can get rid of crimes and create jobs and make money, have these TV shows, and we can do this, but you have to vote for me in November 2020, okay? Okay, so let's do some dancing, okay? So, and uh, you know what? Let's take a break, okay? Do that. It's been one hour and a half, so let's. It's time to take a break. Ventilate the air. Get some fresh oxygen. All right.
Okay. We are back. Okay. Um. I think I'm drunk enough to dance. All right. So uh, we will continue this dance lesson. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I. Uh, you know. I kind of feel, sometimes I feel insecure about my uh, my look, my looks, appearance. Okay, so if somebody say I'm handsome, I'm, I'm eternally, eternally grateful about that compliment. Okay, so because uh, I feel insecure about my looks. Maybe I'm kind of like a girl. Okay, oh, I'm insecure. Oh, I want people to validate that I'm good looking okay so. <laughs> yeah it's stand up comedy okay yeah I'm standing so it's finally it's the stand up comedy time okay so I gotta do my hair nicely and because uh, uh, I want something on my forehead otherwise it's just plain blank okay so and top of my hair, I want it to be, I want there to be something. I don't, I don't want it to be just this straight line. Whatever. So, yeah, uh, let's say, uh, she just said, oh, uh, to the Peter, you know, when you're young, you, you travel the world. You are able to go anywhere you wanted to go to, you know. All these politicians, they do this Clinton fist, right? Come on. Be more creative. Be more expression, expressive, you know, like. But they don't know how to dance. Okay, the elites, they went to Harvard, Yale. They do all this homework. They do what other people tell them to do. I'm not it. Okay, I'm a creative person. I'm alive. They... All these politicians, like U.S. congressmen, senators, governors, President Trump, they all do this. Clinton fist. Oh, this. Oh, President Trump. Oh, this is the stupidest thing in acting. Okay. All you do is this. Oh, what, what, what? President Trump. Okay. So they don't know acting. Okay. But uh, I happen to be on... A former actor, so yeah, I know how to perform. I know how to do this craft, creative gestures. You know, I do like this. Oh, oh, yeah, give it to me. You know, yeah, I'm more expressive with my gestures. You know. Anyways, so. Let's say, uh, you know, I'm going to sit down, okay? We'll do dancing <laughs> later. Yeah, I, I've done enough dancing already, so... Uh, I'm going to sit down. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> so, I'm 40 years old, okay? What do you expect? Okay, so... Uh, Alright, so... This... Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, kind of forgot. Um, yeah, you, you, do you enjoy watching my bold spot? Well, I'm losing my hair anyway. So I'm alone in Alaska in this Monday. First Monday of November 2018, okay, so about two years from now, there will be presidential election and my name probably won't be there, so you have to memorize my name. And I didn't even tell you what my name is. You have to look it up, okay, so, because I, I don't want to just hand it out to you, okay, nothing is free. I want you to pay for it. It's not your money. Maybe we are time. Yeah, time is money. So maybe some couple of hundred dollars of your money, okay? Because time is money, okay? So, 
But yeah, you have to memorize my name, okay? So and then you have to. It's only ten letters American English alphabet, okay? I'm not gonna spell it out for you. You have to look it up, okay? So just write down my name in November 2020, okay? Then I will be your president, and we will go to prison, and we will have this. Okay, let, yeah. Now I remember what I was gonna say. So, I will have only two security guards. The secret, secret service will not, okay, my personal bodyguards, okay. So, the very first day in my uh, presidency in January 2021, we'll go to Washington DC ghetto and we pick up the trash. Okay, and then after that we go to the prison. Okay, we go to the prison and we start with a camera crew. So there be uh, me, some of you that I'm gonna appoint to this cabinet position or White House staff position, and my friends who will be with me as my employees in the White House. Okay. And then there is security, uh, the secret service agents, only two, two of them, okay. Yeah, they are armed. Me? I don't, I don't need any weapons, okay. Look, I'm a martial artist, okay. So every part of my body is a weapon, okay. So, uh, all right, so, yeah. So me, my friends, yeah, we pick up the trash. Right after 10 minute inaugura inauguration, okay, this is uh, justice from Supreme Court, me, Bible, that's it, okay, I swear in to the White House in 2021. We are all in this world of fiction, okay, it's a novel, novel, world of imagination, okay, so that's what we are doing here, okay. So, uh, yeah, we are, we are in this fantasy world of Imagination, fantasy, fantasization, kind of pediatric, paramasturbatory kind of thing, okay? So, well, uh, that's all I can do, okay? So, we go to watch, after this 10 minute inauguration, there's no audience, there's just camera crew, okay? Yeah, we do this inauguration, you know, I swear in, yeah. I I will do my best to uh, defend and protect and preserve the U.S. United States Constitution. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we do that, and then we all start driving downtown, uptown, downtown, whatever, side town, left town, right town, what in Washington D.C. ghetto, and we start. We bring with us this pl plastic trash bags and this. Latex gloves and we start picking up the trash The very first day in my presidency, okay, and then hey you guys you, you don't have any jobs come with us Join us. Let's start picking up this trash Under the ground on the ground, okay in your neighborhood and I will pay you for it with my own presidential salary and this camera crew Recording all this and we sell this footage Not just in America, but to the worldwide Okay, we will sell this we will make money. Okay, and uh, So yeah, after that we go to prison Washington DC prison, okay, I don't want to fly out all the way to Nevada, California, Louisiana, no Washington DC we we'll just drive like this the Charlie Chaplin movie. <laughs> I watched this Charlie Chaplin movie more than time, modern times, and uh, oh, it's great. Okay, we will drive. I'm not gonna drive in because I I've been drinking vodka. Okay, I don't wanna get arrested in the first day of my presidency. 
Okay, no, 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 I, I don't want to drink and drive and all get arrested and you, oh, you are present, but you get no special treatment. So you drink and drive and you go to jail. I don't want that. So yeah, they be my secret service agents or my driver. Yeah, driving, okay, it's just me, two secret service agents and driver, okay, designated driver, okay, so we drive to this prison system in Washington DC okay and so and we have boombox like <laughs> on the shoulder by this one honky muscular secret service agent this is boombox on this shoulder <laughs> I play, start playing this uh, Elvis Presley uh, jailhouse rock da da we go there unannounced and there's a camera crew with us this camera okay 35 film you know silver coated plastic and they're filming this okay we're gonna sell this later we're gonna make money okay the president the first day in his presidency in Washington DC okay this Asian shit ass Alaskan guy become president okay we are all living in this fiction, hypothetical, okay? With the world of imagination. Miracle. Okay, this is what we are doing now. For fun, okay? We are I'm at some work, so we are doing all this for fun, okay? So uh So yeah this I'm a Joker, okay? I'm a huge fan of Batman movie. The very first with uh, Michael Keaton. I finally remember his name. Michael Keaton, Kim Basinger, and uh, Jack Nicholson, okay? So, trio. Michael Keaton, Kim Basinger, and uh, Jack Nicholson, okay? So, yeah, I'm, a, I'm more a Joker, okay? Like, uh, like do Joker dancing with the prince. You know, he made this all this fantastic Batman movie music. Money and this Jack Nicholson do this all this dancing like this. this charismatic. Ah, you know. So when I'm the president, yeah, there be a lot of women who want to have sex with me, who want to date me, who want to be my, my wife and first lady. You know, I don't want you because uh, when I was single as a paper pusher or computer programmer making average American salary, you did not want me. Okay, because uh, I was making so little money. I'm being poetic, rhyming, okay? You don't, honey, you don't want me. You want my money. I don't want you, okay? So, don't worry about me, okay? I, I'm the same guy. As a president or as a computer programmer or as a paper pusher, but when I was making very little money and no fame, no power, no money, you did not want me. And now that you, are, I'm president, you want me and you don't want me. You want my money. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm rhyming, okay? Because when I, every now and then, there are some girls, okay? So, I write love poems. Poems. Yeah, I write poems, okay? In my novel, if you ever get to find out about my novel, yeah, you get to see my poems, okay? Love poems that I wrote to all those ladies, okay? So, anyway, so, yeah, so, yeah, we're in the prison. The very first day in my American presidency, unannounced. Yeah, maybe it's announced because I'm telling you all this by the time. It's a campaign promise, okay? It's recorded, it's uh, in the document, so it's a public. So 
Yeah, you have my uh, campaign promises right here. Okay. So yeah, let's say uh, I bec I do become the president in 2021. Then yeah, we we will go to prison in Washington D.C. You and I together, okay? <laughs> With camera crew and because we're gonna make a lot of money off of this money, okay? We will make money because it's something sensational, something phenomenal. Nobody ever in the world have ever done this. The very first day of presidency or kingdom or this this crowning ceremony, right after that, the same day we are going to a prison. Okay, it's something unique, something new. So yeah, people love this, something new, it's something fun. Entertainment, okay. I understand entertainment business, okay. We will sell this footage all around the world, okay. And people love it, people will buy it, okay. They're gonna pay their dollars, pennies, whatever, okay. Shrinks or sterlings and Yeah, people will buy, pay, <coughs> pay this to watch this footage. The very first presidential day in 2021, we are going to prison. Me, the president of the United States. All my, some of my cabinet members and secret service agents, and we are going to the Washington DC prison system. Okay. And there's this secret service guy, this muscular guy, playing this, I say, like a mask. Like, uh, you know, this, this colorful facial expression guy, uh, Jim Carrey. He's Canadian, right? But he came to America, he became an actor. And this, this colorful facial expression guy, like, Ooh, like oh oh oh, <laughs> it's holding my jaw to imitate him. Okay, so I'm sorry. I uh, yeah, Jim Carrey. Okay, so he do do this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> great teacher of human race. Great teacher of humanity. Yeah, you have to exercise this human. Face, facial muscle, okay? So, yeah, exercise your facial muscle, okay? So, Jim Carrey, yeah, he said something like, uh, it's party time. P A I T Y, because I gotta. Yeah, ma the mask. You know, the great movie, one of my favorite. I have it in DVD, okay? Yeah. He's one of my teachers, mentors, and hero. I never met him, but. It's great, okay. I learned so much, so many things from me. Yeah, he made some mistakes, okay. But uh, great teacher of humanity, okay. So, yeah, just, just like Jim Carrey said in this uh, movie, The Mask. So the secret service agent carried this boombox with the Elvis Presley, the jailhouse rock, and we, 2021, I become the president, and after this inauguration and picking up the trash, I go to jail, this, uh, Washington, this jail, and secret service, and I say to him, hit it! You know, just like the Jim Carrey in the mask, okay? Hit it! You know, like, and then, uh, this guy play, push this button in the boombox on over his shoulder and then there's Elvis Presley in the jailhouse in the Washington DC, okay? I don't even know where there's jailhouse in Washington DC, okay? Let's assume there is, okay? Yeah, 
They just say, da 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 Every Spanish should do this shoulder and his torso. Rock. And then do this sniping, okay? Everybody rock. <laughs> do all this, okay? This torso and. Yeah! Oh! Ooh! You know? That's my dancing lesson for today, okay? So it's been two hours, let's take a break, okay? We'll do more dancing. I love challenges. It's a great challenge to dance without our music, okay? So I love challenges, okay? So let's do some dancing, okay? More dancing after a break. Uh, we're nice and warm. Uh, well, uh, yeah. You know, when I uh, do this performance in um, in a club or bar, karaoke bar, 
I kind of uh, do so. It's a performance. I'm a performer. I'm a former actor, singer. Okay, so yeah, I know how to perform. I I practice practiced it and I learned it. So yeah, sometimes you have to reveal yourself. Okay, so you do like this. Oh, oh yeah, I'm taking off my jacket. <laughs> okay, so uh. At the same time, I'm a martial artist, okay, so... I'm not gonna tell you my favorite songs in karaoke, okay? Um, we're doing every pre Elvis Presley Jailhouse Rock, and... Um, I don't know, remember all the lyrics, okay? But, uh, it's... One, two, three, 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 nine, 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 Ah, that's right. You know, it's a, not one of my favorite song. Okay, because every Presley, uh, he's a great dancer. Okay, he does like this, like like that, like. You cannot kind of see my legs. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust the angle and take off my slippers. He does like all this this shimmy move. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm knocking over my this uh, whiteboard and markers and eraser. Come on. <coughs> I like it organized, okay. Yeah he he does all this this fancy this shimmy moves like this, right, right? But uh you don't have to know about that now. For now, if you don't know anything about dancing, all you gotta know is uh Dancing is about repetition, okay? Dancing is about repetition, okay? So, uh, beep. You bend your knees. Boom, 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 boom. You make some variation like this. Two, 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 two. Yeah. You know? Do you see it? You are just bending your knees. But you make some variation, in and yang, okay? Balance. Repetition is all the same, but you make some variation, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So that's your knees. You do something with your shoulder. Yeah. 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 Some shoulder. And your arm. Okay, you get at the beginning you don't have to be too bold, okay? Um just you know be uh step by step, one step at a time, okay. But it's just so easy, it's your arm. Can you can't you lift lift up your arm like this? Is it so hard? I'm asking you a question. Is it so hard to for you to lift up your arm like this? Okay, that's what what I want you to learn. I want you to be creative and bold. It's so easy to lift up your arm like this. But you never do it in public because People may think you are crazy, but you are you are here. You are on American. I mean, if you are in America, uh, if you are somewhere in the world, well, doesn't matter. Okay, whatever country you are from, you where you wherever you are right now, you wanna express yourself. Okay, so yeah, raise your raise your arm like this. Oh God, I love you. I praise God. I want to be better, higher. Okay, <laughs> I want to elevate myself to the next next level. Okay, so. That's what human analytical choreography is about. It's about 
evolving you to the next higher level okay so I don't care what your nationality your race your age I don't care your gender I don't care okay so dancing is about lifting up yourself lifting your it's about bettering making better of yourself okay so that's dancing humanological dancing okay so yeah all this asian or african or western dancing style okay okay we, we, let's go back to this washington dc scenario where i i'm the president in 2021 and they're playing this boombox okay so Elvis presley uh, he's great dancer very innovative and uh but let me get some more water Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, so uh, yeah, dancing. Okay, you just do it like this. You know, just knees. Just bend your knees. Everybody can dance. You dance with their knees. Okay, and then uh, there's this uh, great American song. That I always dance with. It's like a video kill the radio star, video kill the radio star. 1980s, you know. It's like one one hit wonder, okay? So uh I love that song, okay? So uh it's like da 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 Dun 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 da 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 Video kid, the radio star, video. Okay, whatever, okay, so all I want you to do is bend your knees, okay? Do, 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 do. You use something with the shoulder. And there's another great song by American musician in 1990s Guru Varmada and Fat Boy Slim, okay? So, Fat Boy Slim guy. He was a partner in with the the beautiful South in uh, this British uh, more melodic song people. Okay, Be the beautiful South and the Fat Boy Fat Boy Slim. Uh, they were, used to be have this band called uh, Martin. I forgot their name. Original band. The Martin or something, okay. Yeah, they came from Britain, okay. So British invasion, okay. So anyway, Fat Boy Slim they made, okay, it's Guru Varmada, okay. They cr created a song called uh, "I See You, Baby." It goes like this. <laughs> I see you, baby, shaking an ass. Pizza satin, okay? Shaking an ass, shaking an ass. I see you, baby, shaking an ass. Da da. And then, then, then this Groove Armada, Amer all American band, okay? In I think it's just from Illinois or something. Maybe Chicago, Illinois. I don't know. 
So this that's overall American band group I'm at the ICU baby. Okay, so that's one of my favorite dance music in the Midwest in my undergrad undergraduate college, okay, and then uh this Fat Boy Slim they came in and they remixed remix Guru Vamada Fat Boy Slim remix, okay so and they have this uh grandma funky or something like that. I think it's a black guy. Fantastic rapper, okay. The uh, master of ceremony, MC. Grandma Funky, something like that, okay. So, yeah, he joined in and uh, he, then Guru Vamada, Fepo Slim, and Grandma Funky, and they came up with fantastic remix of Fepo Slim, I See You Baby. Guru Vamara, Fepo Slim, and Grandma Funky, okay? So, uh, American and British came together. Uh, beautiful song. It goes like this, okay? Um, I See You Baby, okay? Fepo Slim mix with uh, Grandma Funky, okay? I See You Baby, uh, Grandma Funky style. It goes like this. I see you, baby. See you, baby. Uh, see you, baby. I see you, baby. Yeah. I Obviously, I cannot call it, replicate it properly, okay? Okay, so we did enough dancing, okay? So, yeah, Elvis Presley, like, like this, is great dancer, Elvis Presley, okay? Da -da, then, then he do like this, like torso and hips and, oh, it's so sexy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, Elvis Presley is so sexy and oh, he's tall, dark. What is that? Tall, dark. Something, okay. Tall, dark, handsome, okay. I don't think Elvis Presley was like 100% white. He's more like Middle Eastern, maybe Italian, okay. So, but his daughter. Uh, is a blonde girl okay so uh i guess he's wide enough okay so yeah i'm okay with him having sex and marrying with this white girl german girl uh what's her name uh he, she was an actress from germany yeah some of this uh abram Three studios, uh, you know, this producer, producer who went to this uh, American dad. Uh, you know, if you are in the entertainment business, you know what I'm talking about, okay? This Abraham. Okay, so uh, yeah, this, this actress who married Elvis Presley and. Um, uh, yeah, I, I guess it's okay because uh, Elvis Presley's daughter, they, she turned out to be a beautiful, I think it's Leslie, Leslie Presley or something, okay? Yeah, she turned out to be a purely white blonde girl, so and then, who did she marry to? Michael Jackson and some other guy and yeah, she if she's a purely white girl, yeah, she should marry a pure, purely white man, okay, because she's slender, tattooless piercing, yes, okay, so whatever. Yeah, uh, I'm rambling because I'm drunk, okay, but 
at the same time I'm very sober okay so we're gonna do some martial arts okay so uh my hairstyle may be a little bit messy but uh I try to make it nice so that's the Asian Far East Asian martial art or tradition culture of drinking good drinking okay yeah, you get to see my all my post part and uh, well, there's nothing I can do about it, okay? <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, I man, I may cover it up a little bit, okay? So, I don't care. I'm a man, okay? So, I don't give a fuck about anything else. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, whatever. We'll do some martial arts, okay? Because uh, we have 40 minutes left and uh, we do enough dancing, okay? So, yeah, every press is like this, you know, torso, hips, you know, like this. Da -da, da -da. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna vibrate you. Like, I'm a, like a vibration machine, you know, sexualized. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> so every press will be like, oh, I'm so sexy, and oh, I'm tall, dark, handsome. Oh, yeah, like, oh. Okay, we did enough dancing today, okay? So, uh, we're gonna take a break, and we'll do some martial arts, okay? We'll be back.
I guess it's kind of getting better, okay? Because I'm performing as a performer, and uh, you know. You know, all these past episodes, I was only talking and not quite performing with my all these limbs and arms and legs, okay? So, now I come, I'm, uh, we are more free. We are increasing this degree of freedom, okay? So, it's a good news, okay? So, uh... They say I should only button the top button and not the bottom button, but I well. <laughs> I've got a cold. I'm in Alaska, okay? So I have to button, <coughs> button up. Top and bottom button, okay? So, but uh, well. It doesn't quite look well, so. Yeah, so, uh. <sighs> We did enough dancing, okay? So let's do some martial arts, okay? So, uh, we didn't quite do this real great with this, uh, is it okay? Is, I'm asking you, is it okay if we do martial arts for the last 30 minutes of this episode? If you're not okay with that, I'm not gonna do it, okay? I, I, I don't wanna torture you, okay? I'm not a sadist. PG-13. But uh, this is a Amazon.com, you know, soft uh, nunchuck, okay? So it's a very soft, uh, it's a padded with this foam and was made in China, I guess. And, uh, yeah, it's very very small thing, okay? So, I'm not hurting anybody. There's nobody all around here, okay? So, rear grip, frontal grip, okay? We, do, we don't, yeah, frontal grip is a great show. It's like a display. I have no jokes. Look at me. Oh, yeah. I have it. You know, I do like this, you know. Oh, like, you know, I, I'm in the center of the universe, you know. Oh, look at me. <laughs> you know, this frame. Yeah, it's a great, beautiful display. But, yeah, it's, it has some value, okay, as, a, as an art, aesthetics. Like, you know, modeling, okay? But models, they are women, okay? We are, we are not women. I'm a man, okay? So, when I do martial arts, it's not for a show. It's for the practicality, okay? So, I hide it. I have nunchucks right here, okay? But I don't show it. Okay? Because if I'm, well, if I want to win a war, win a battle, my job is to win the war, okay? So, I have to weaken the enemy. How do I weaken my enemy? To make him lazy, complacent, happy, you know. Oh, he has no weapon, so, but I have a knife. I have this uh, samurai sword like this, but he has no weapon. I have a samurai sword like this, but he has no weapon. I'm stronger than he is. That's what I think I am. I am superior to him. He's weak because he has no weapon, but I do have weapon like is like a you know baseball okay but he has no weapon look at him he's pathetic stupid Asian guy he has no weapon 
that's how I would make my opponent, my enemy to think. Okay? He's all compressed, he's relaxed. Oh yeah, I can beat him. I can kick his ass because I have weapon, but he does not have any weapon, okay? That's how I want him to think. Okay, it's philosophy, it's like business, it's uh, it operates to everywhere, okay? So that's the power of real grip. Real grip. You see? I have the same weapon that he has. He has this frontal grip. Okay, frontal grip. It's beautiful. It's, it has some artistic value to it, okay? Okay, it has some artistic, aesthetic value, like, you can grip like this, like, like, like this, okay, like, like, you know, like this, like, oh, I have my weapon, I'm showing it off to you, but Jesus said, Jesus said, uh, if you pray, don't pray in front of people, okay, you pray, Hiding in a close quarter so that only God can hear your prayer. Okay? That's what Jesus said. And in humanology, we, uh, you pay, we pay huge respect to what Jesus had to say. Okay? Because we love Jesus. Okay? We take Jesus as our Savior. In humanology, okay? So. So yeah, and uh, let's do some martial arts, okay? So. But this step, yeah, it's so easy. You know, like this, 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 this. Like, you know. So about strike, real grip. Because humanology, we love real grip. Because it's more powerful. Frontal grip like this, it's not that powerful. Powerful. It bends. Oh, we don't have any backing. Yeah. Oh! Okay. But you have real, real grip like this. You are backing over your entire arm. Your entire hand. Okay. So, yeah. It's more powerful. Okay. Okay, more powerful than this. It bends. Okay, too easily. Okay. Real grip is more powerful physically and also metaphysically because you're hiding it. You don't get to see it. But frontal grip is uh, more, it's more like showmanship. 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 Okay, so yeah. It look pretty. It has some aesthetical value, you know, because you got to see it. Okay. Oh. You know, but real grip. You know. It's kind of beautiful too, okay? So. But it's more. Ninjutsu. Uh, Ninjutsu. You know, you're hiding. You're hiding your intention to attack somebody. So that your opponent get pleasant, complacent, it's easier target, okay? So, so that's uh, real grip, okay? So, okay? Okay? You don't get to see it. You don't see my weapon, okay? But I have it right here. I'm hiding it, okay? So, that's that, and um, okay, this is a wooden, wooden uh, luncha, okay, but it's uh, something hard rather than that, this uh, foam based Amazon thing. Um, I'm going to use this because I don't want to hurt myself, okay? So, it's a foam-based 
Muncho, okay? So, uh, you know. But in the middle, we have this chain. So, Nuncho is my favorite weapon because uh, it's so versatile and it's so flexible and you can do so many different things like this. Oh, like, you know, it's so beautiful, you know, it's flexible. You know? Like, right? And you can do all these finger stuff, you know. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like a girl, you know. Okay, so uh, maybe you can see, you cannot see my legs. I'm gonna lower my angle a little bit. Okay, so yeah, like you can do like this, this. Uh, You know, okay, so this uh, martial art, Chinese martial arts, this like this, okay, uh. <coughs> yeah, you get all these beautiful things with martial arts, okay, you don't need any tattoos, piercings, marijuana, okay, uh, because they do it because they don't know, don't know any martial arts, okay? You don't need tattoos, piercings, and all those marijuana, gay, marriage, trans in the bathroom. You do those, you do those things because you're ignorant. You're ignorant, okay? You don't know other ways to have fun. Okay, but if you know what I know, like martial arts, like this, you know, like, you know, you don't have to do all those tattoos, piercings, and transgender and gay marriage. You don't need that, okay? Yeah, you can still have fun, okay? Like this, like. Sometimes I draw my weapon, but you know, you can't hold the fun in the world, okay? So, yeah, don't do any tattoo, piercing, marijuana, gay marriage, transgender. There are other ways to, that you can have fun, okay? So, uh, that's the lesson today, okay? So, yeah, just buy this. This uh, non talks is like with thirty dollars. You have thirty dollars, okay? I, if I can afford it, you can afford it too, okay? So, yeah. And uh, what else? I'm gonna do two hour and thirty minutes, okay? So we we'll take a break. And we continue this martial art lesson, okay? Okay, let's take a break.
Yeah, I'm kind of drunk. But uh, I don't claim to be a drunken master because uh, I'm not a master, okay? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm just stupid guy, stupid man. I'm not a master. So, okay. So, let's say uh, this is your enemy going to kill you. Maybe you piss somebody off, okay? I don't want to get into any legal trouble, okay? So, this is about fun. It's a hobby. It's a martial art hobby, okay? So, you're not hurting anybody. You're just by yourself, okay? Just practicing martial arts. That's all you are, okay? But uh, you imagine you are a novelist, you are a writer, okay, so you imagine uh, this out of thin air, thin air, you imagine there's this your enemy, materialize this enemy and then you have to defend yourself, okay, so it's an oral fiction, okay, it's, it's a novel, okay, it's not reality. It's alternative universe, you know, like a fiction, okay? So, yeah, I, I do have a knife. It's a stag knife, you know, it doesn't come me, okay? It's a very blunt stag knife, but I do have it, okay? Right here, okay?